We all will. Mr. Wilson. The plain fact is, if you're after anything skilled in your line, you're onto a hiding to nothing. It's national, not just round here. We're moving from a manufacturing to a service economy. Have you thought about anything in the service sector? I wonder if you'd like to have a shot at this. Do you know where the butler school is? Uh, it's the first floor, love. Right, thanks. Don't forget to keep the pace. That's it. Steady. Now, one and two and three. Stop now! Morning, gentlemen. All right. It's funny, I don't think I had a hearing defect when I rose. My name is Mr. James. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Good morning Mr. James. James. Please be seated. Excuse me. Thank you, Mr. James. Now, some of you may feel that a life in service is a life of continuous indignity. Not so. We all serve. All of us. Husbands serve wives, wives, husbands, mothers, daughters, Fathers, sons, and the government, who do they serve? Yes, the crown. And even the crown serves. Well, we have our critics. And what do they say? They say, we're trying to establish a new servant class. We're exploiting the jobless from the impoverished north. Exploiting the jobless. My hat. Are you exploiting an unemployed man by giving him a job worth up to £40,000 plus perks? We've even got a couple of public school lads with us here today. I can't see them being exploited. Can you? Where? Now, where? 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 And? Where do you like your tea, sir? Now, who? Can you believe it? He's right about the money. It's a mate of mine down south. He's ordered a BMW already. I don't fancy all the bonus script with me. Well, you don't have to mean it. Eh? Well, you don't have to really bone scrape, do you? As long as you pretend to, you're all right. It's an act. It's like anything. Ah, yeah, but they're going to rumble if you're acting though, aren't they? No, listen. My mate says he hates them and they hate him and they both know it. So every time he does something, he just thinks asshole to himself. He says it makes him better at it. Good evening, sir. Madam? 
you do look smart. Thank you, madam. Your coat, sir? Take the shopping, never mind my clothes. Certainly, sir. Dinner will be served when you're ready. Oh, he's got the tea on. It's lovely, this Derek, isn't it? I don't know when we last sat down together, Gary. They must get fed up, these upper classes, waiting their turn. Ooh, their food must be cold by the time they get it. Sorry for the delay, sir. Sausages? Well, go on then, if you must serve me. Serve me! Look, Dad, you only get served in restaurants. In private houses, you serve yourself. Hmm. Well, what's the point of you, then? Oh. Gary, put the bloody thing down. I'll have the peas all over the floor on your mother and hands and knees. Some conversation. Don't eat and talk if you are. Eat or not eat, you've no conversation. Huh? Well, go on then. Jack Timpson's at the end. What? I've had his leg off. That was months ago. Oh, well, this was his other leg. Oh dear. Keep him out of his garden, won't it? <laughs> 